Yo, welcome back, and I'm back too, welcome, oh boy, some more Farthest Frontier, happy Thanksgiving chat, welcome, good to see you all here, 
Dean's just launching this bad boy now. Thanks for being a part of our Thanksgiving evening stream. Hope everybody's had a lovely day so far. And uh, for those of you celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you're enjoying it or have enjoyed it or will enjoy it. Deviled eggs? Oh, my God. Dude, we'll, we'll talk in just a second as soon as Steam launches my damn game. Let's go. Steam has taken forever to launch this game. Let's go. Ah, oh, there we go. Fantastic. For whatever reason, this damn game keeps opening on the wrong monitor. Making it tricky to get started. Alright, let's jump back in. Oh. That's a hell of a lot of saves, dude. I probably have over 250 saves in this game now. Alright, welcome back everybody to Farthest Frontier. The newest update is out, version 0.91, I think it is. Raid camps and uh, more to do with um, trips and new buildings. And uh, pretty soon we'll get cavalry and catapults, which will be very exciting as well. So, uh, yeah. Happy... Thanksgiving. Good to see you all here. Hope you're all enjoying your day, and more importantly, tomorrow's Friday, so I hope you all enjoy your weekend, too. I'm good, man. I, I had to rush, but I, I, I got over uh, to see some family, and I'll probably be going back over there after the uh, streams as well. Uh, I, <laughs> I brought home probably more leftovers than uh, than I actually ate when I was there, but then I'm going to go back and have some more pie and say hello to some other people coming back later. So, Good to see everybody. Yes, thank you very much for all the hearts. Thank you for all the gift bombs. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you for all the likes. Very thankful for you and uh, all of your support and uh, supporting my friends and just watching the streams. It just makes it more and more fun. The more people we have in the stream, more people chatting about the games and cheering us on and being awesome, the more enjoyable it is for everybody. So thank you. Oh, and look at that. It's a winter wonderland. All right, so the name of this save was Defenses and Expenses, and I think that's a good thing because we're going to even out our expenses and then have some more defenses. Should be good. Yo, Drizola, thank you very much for the five. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support, bruh. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, let's see. We're going to need some more stone. Oh, did we take uh, farmers off the job? All right, now the goal is to get the population up to 400. But more importantly, we need to get this uh, trade depot up to tier 2 and focus more on our trading. Also, we worked out a lot on our desirability, and that seems to be doing pretty good. Houses need a little bit more desirability, and then we need more food types. Which, now we've got all these farms going... So it should be pretty good. And we got a brewery going, bruh. Okay. And then the brewery is going to produce beer, which when it's sold at the tavern should make up a little bit of our money that we're losing out on. So that should be cute. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen a single raid camp yet here, but we're also playing on a large size map, so maybe they're further out? I'm not sure. We'll find one. And when we do, we will, it will be crashed. We'll crash. A lot of construction projects on hold. Probably due to money. Super chat. Farming bugs? I haven't seen any farming bugs yet. Cool face. Everyone knows the Trex is cooler than Raptors. Hey. Cool face. Lowell, happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, man. Thank you. Dinos unite. All right, so uh, let's see. I think we might need to trade for bricks. What's the upgrade cost? 50 bricks and 500 gold. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, the raids will increase in... Uh, well, I don't know. They seem to be increasing this playthrough so far. But the uh, latest update has more to do with siege camps, so we'll see what happens. Raid camps are nearby. So we shall see. Alright, spring is almost here. Alright, early spring. Now hopefully we can get the brewery done. That's going to be awesome. And we get some beer delivered. Oh, we got to get iron too. So iron and bricks and then making some money too. And we're making soap now too. Oh, the soap takes herbs. Uh-oh. We haven't that's one of the things we haven't been able to find is medicinal root, which I never find, and herbs, which I usually do find. Wish there was more things we could farm. Maybe even on, on a smaller scale farm or a specialty farm like with the uh it'd be interesting if the forger building could be converted to an herb farm or a um An herb farm or a um, medicinal roots. I don't see any traders yet. Oh, there he is. And I think this will probably be, um, Plains Rider. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Scorv is, uh, yeah. Scorv, we're going to need, uh, whew, we're going to need stuff. Damn, he's expensive. We buy a hundo. Absolute, this guy's a scam artist. Oh, and he's selling it for a super high price. The problem with herbs is, one, we need it for our people for food and soap. And also, since I can't collect it myself, I don't know when he's going to be back. So I'm buying mostly because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just panic buying.
Well, we'll sell him honey for 80, I guess. Oh well, five wasn't that bad. And it serves a dual purpose. Oh, you always like to wait until the second trader arrives? That's a good idea. Then you can see if there's a way you can uh, finagle. Where you can buy low and sell high to the other or whoever might have the better deals. True. I try to do it right away because the last couple of times I've forgotten to complete our trades and then raids come in and I get so focused on that. I have what you call a problem, chap. Hey, did our brewery get done? Hey. Oh, we just need honey now. Which I just sold like a goober. That's fine. We can get more. got one kind of there well we still need as much honey as we can get I'll still build another one You make awesome videos? Thank you very much. I try. And I've been trying for years to do the basics. I have seen YouTube evolve quite a bit, and things have certainly moved towards more where editing software is way more affordable than ever before, and people are very quick to learn. They're affordable and they're very easy to learn, so you get people who are, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 into their early 20s and they'll make their own channels and edit larger YouTube channels and stuff like that and that's pretty cool um, but for me I've always just kind of like enjoyed just showing the game and playing and doing things my way without too much uh, razzle dazzle I suppose so it is pretty cool just to show off a game and just you know see what people think about it what they think could change give feedback Oftentimes, developers will come into the chat and or into the uh, comment section to see what you guys are saying or to hear what I have to say. And Usually, I can uh, judge a game by its cover or by its Steam like page pretty quickly on whether or not I'm going to like it. Um, so it's pretty cool to be able to be like, oh yeah, I'd, I'd probably like that. So any Anytime we do like a sponsored deal or anytime I'm playing a game, I'm not... Not being forced to play it or anything like that. I've I've kind of wanted to play it, you know. And I think uh, because of the times of us growing up when we were younger, <laughs> if uh, most of you remember Blockbuster, uh, sometimes maybe you'd rent a game that wasn't so great after all, but you'd still make the most of it. And maybe that's just maybe more tolerant of games that, you know. I saw this image somebody posted, an indie developer, and they were kind of like heartbroken. Somebody left a negative review on their like $8 game because when you shoot people, their bodies would disappear because the developer didn't know how to like, you know, optimize it so that way bodies would be all over and the person like gave it a do not recommend or whatever. It, it toppled the game's rating or whatever. And it's like, bro, I think you do need to also like be a little understanding about indie games where it's like sometimes 
like you know a game like Stardew Valley or a game like this isn't made by a huge team. Hell, I would say even Baldur's Gate wasn't made by like a. It was a AAA game made by a team that was just fueled by passion more than money, and that oftentimes makes all the difference. Yo, Tampa guy, thanks for the two. <laughs> You're on the holidays, thanks, Chief. Uh, well, I had to go into Chinatown. There was a crime, but now I'm back. Anyway. Um, wow, so no bricks. So we gotta buy bricks as soon as we can. And iron. She's not selling any... It's like the second year she came here. And is not selling, uh... Damn it. Well, at least she's buying candles for a good price. In. Sell all. Oh, I gotta transfer first. Num lock on. There we go. But we need a lot of money. We're going to try to use this lumber and whatnot to get money. We need that to we're profitable. I do. <coughs> Sorry, I do see our uh, money coming up though. We must be making. Yeah, we're making beer now. It's getting immediately consumed, though. Oh. Help me understand why this game feels so good. I, you know, I don't know. It, it's got a little bit of everything that I enjoy. It, it's amazing how it's got like kind of realistic farming and combat, and it's got like a, a, a good po like three fourths of everything. Got a little pharaoh in here, a little stronghold, a little farming simulator. Building on fire, predators are attacking again. Bear. Oh, he's a. Oh, of course. Look at his ass sitting down there in front. Look at that. Where the hell's the hunters? They're supposed to be protecting. God, this is gonna throw off farming. I hired our hunters so they could guard the damn farm fields from the bears. What is better, this or banished? Well, banished is kind of no longer supported, but there's tons of mods for it, but. I mean, both are good. Although this game is incomplete. It has a ton to it. Alright, ma'am, there's your candles. Leave it in 30 days. Incomplete. Yeah, this game's early access, so it's like it's not finished. It's not missing anything. It's just like it is, but you know, you know what I mean. Still be being developed. I think the. Community is doing a good job of giving feedback for the devs.
They've delivered one candle. How? But I swear, the years where you need the most amount of money, you just... Incompetence. Oh well, we'll check back later. Oh, we're playing on the hardest level. Hardest difficulty on uh, Alpine Mountains. We need to get a big group of uh, immigrants to come on in. Store raw materials. Are we going to do any more uh, lethal company? I think so. I don't know if Lumberjack will be around. We may mix up our group, but uh, yeah. Lethal Company is really cool. On our channel, I feel like a lot of people had missed that one. And uh, we're going to have to play more Lethal Company. It's getting incredibly popular now. Did we take out a raider's camp? I haven't seen any yet. We've explored quite a bit around our settlement, but I haven't seen a raider's camp yet. How do we go about harvesting iron? Well, we could build an iron mine, then we got to build a smelter, then we got to build a blacksmith to make tools. We're doing on flour. And flour. Good, that's great. Yep, that means most of it's being made into bread. And we have no soap, which means a lot of it's probably just being sold. Oh, she left him. Our people didn't even get the job done. Man, the la last couple of years have been hard for trades. We've been trying to time things, and it's just been bad. Bad timing. Last couple of years have been a little oddly timed, where we've had traders coming in that we want, but with not the things that we want, like bricks and, you know, when you need 50 bricks, it's just buy the 50 bricks than it is to build the whole, like, you know, brick supply chain. You get to build the mayor's house? This isn't SimCity. But I do love building that mayor's house in SimCity. Okay, so for the first time in this playthrough, we've kind of been stunlocked. Not the right trades have come in, and I've kind of missed a few due to invasions, so. That's okay. We're miles ahead of where we usually are. Tremendously ahead. Okay, in order to stop those damn bears, maybe I'm going to finish this fence for now.
There's some fertility up here. We could also do like orchards up here and stuff too. Ooh, it's super. There's also a um, shrine up there that we gotta dig out. I haven't even started the um, temple and stuff. Probably good. We've been focusing more on food and that got our population up. Bravix. Now yeah, we're in early autumn, so the harvests are just starting. So it may look like we have a lot of uh, food shortages, but it'll be all right. Plus, not to mention, we can make food year round now because we have flour. So, because the mill is able to produce flour. We can make bread year round. Which is a little misleading because it's like you, you could have, uh, you know, an in infinite amount of flour, but then you'll be able to kind of make the food that you need for that month. It just has to be made. Buy this frontier is 10% off. Good. Good. Now we just need beer to be made. Oh, to which we have. Good. We just need beer to be delivered to the uh, taverns. beer going that'll get our money up and might even raise happiness a little bit firewood a thousand we're good keep that going Happiness going up. Good. Okay.
Ah, there we go. The taverns are working. See if they bring in some cash. I know, the autumn is beautiful. Alright, so... Um, let's see. Food's good. Four, that went up. Happiness is good. That Wow, that skyrocketed. Must be the booze, bruh. Uh, towers with swords on top of them means that they're missing a melee weapon. But they're guard towers, and so they're supposed to shoot with bows and with crossbows. So if they don't have a sword, it's not a big deal. Oh, and we got a blizzard coming, so... We'll burn through a lot of that firewood. Farming is done. Yeah, work areas on the farms are empty. They're there to protect for bears. No animals there. Unless bears come near. There's our blizzard. How close are we to Mordor? This is down the block. Do I like this game? I love this game. And the blizzard effects are so cool. How are we doing with clothes? 44, we're good. And shoes, 23, okay. Good, our money went from like negative 13 to negative 7. Hmm. The pub's bringing in 4. The market's bringing in 45. Homestead's 43. Taxes with 17 for luxury.
we're going to have to build a gold mine there. Eventually, they're going to hate that. And we'll build further away first. Do I think this game looks better than Manor Lords? Um, no, I, I think uh, it looks similar to Anno, and I think Anno 1800 and Manor Lords look different, but yet are both beautiful. I think City Skyline's beautiful as well. Games look good, though. It fits the what they're going for. And the building's on fire. Remember, welcome. Ah, uh, Rod, congratulations on one year. It's been a fun 12 months. Some great games streamed. Thank you, Rabbit. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, we've had a lot of great games, so especially over the last year. 20, um, 2023 has just been great. Dave the Diver, Dredge. A lot of other people have enjoyed um, Baldur's Gate. I enjoyed... Uh, Playing Diablo for the first time, Diablo 4 on the streams. And many, 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 you know, open world, survival, city builder, first person, third person. You name it, we played it. It was good. Wow, we actually have more firewood after the blizzard than we did going in. I thought we'd actually burn through a lot. back to work. Ooh, looks like a house is upgrading. Ooh, to tier three, I think. Oh, yeah. They were able to make 96 beer at the brewery. Yep, 
All right, likely we're going to see an attack, but we have our first tier three house going up, which is a big accomplishment. One of, what, 32 that we need? 25. But also the nice thing about this is that it, one, they'll pay more taxes. Two, it holds more people, so we don't really have to expand the house, uh, the, uh, the city. All the houses don't have to expand too much. Now, if we can get some bricks, we can actually upgrade our trade depot, which will get us better trades. I think Beldar is coming in. That's going to be like soap and... I don't know, he'll probably buy something dumb like stone at an ultra-high price. Let's see what we got. Yep. Build our buying baskets. All right. Yeah, I figured you'd want to buy a stone. the town at least 800 there okay also whatever that house needs to upgrade is there they just need to deliver it are we gonna get a raid oh and we got another trader coming in down that same road on the left Auto upgrade should be on. Yeah. Automatic building upgrades is enabled. Somebody's just got to bring over the stuff they need. Alright, let's see who we got for our next trader. But it's going to be um, our lady friend. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, good. And no iron again for like the third year in a row. Girl. She's not bringing over the ingots. I'll bring over all the timber we got. I'll keep the beer, though.
Yeah, man. For like the third year in a row, she's not selling iron ingots, which I want to build, be able to build a giant statue here, which will increase the town's rating, and then all these houses will upgrade. Or bricks. I want bricks, too. Eldar's not selling bricks, is he? Oh, he is. Wait a minute. Well, let's at least buy the bricks. Beldar, I will buy 50 of your finest bricks, sir. We also need 100 wood planks. Uh, he's only selling clay. He's not buying. Alright, so we'll make the rest of our planks and upgrade the uh, trade depot for the next year. That means we get new traders. been stunlocked for the last couple years. Just gotta get iron now, though. Well. Yeah, we'll unlock new traders. Like, two, two new traders? We occasionally get a triple trade. Now we can build the we can build this like fence now and then destroy it later. Keep the damn bears out. chop down all those trees and put some more fields. Uh, maybe eventually an orchard. Why is it called a village and not a city? I guess kind of it's a vi village now, but it's kind of a size thing, you know, village, hamlet, town. City, suburb. You're glad to see me playing this game. I'm glad to be back. Back in the lab doing a, some experiments. I got nothing. All right, well, let's trade back to the town then.
Okay. Well, we could still be raided, by the way. Raids are incredibly likely in the spring, but they can come in the summer. up there oh there's wow there's actually med medicinal herb no way wow oh and herbs too oh man okay that's cool all right that's a game changer wow yep medicinal herbs and that wow I need to build a, a forger right away gonna build a couple of those oh and nine immigrants come on in population now at 182 great there's so much to forge over here I really should build like six foragers there's so much we can get for food There's like eggs and hazelnuts and greens, roots and such. Yeah, we got we got to build a bunch of those because there's just tons of stuff over here. Hazelnuts everywhere, birds. Oh, and uh, deer too. Alright, we'll have these guys hunt deer while we pr protect for bear. There's so much stuff here. I can't believe this lake down here didn't have any herbs or anything, but whatever. We got what we need now. Sometimes I, I have herbs. Never do I have medicinal uh, roots. But, um... We have, uh... Willow, which is like, kind of... Mm, not often. That That's a... Now we're lucky. Okay. Yeah, the soap soap is made with herbs in the game, so we need that. And an infinite clay deposit too. Wow. Expanding north was fantastic. Happy Thanksgiving, chat! Yeah! Thank you very much for all your support. Thanks for watching the channel and hanging out. Yeah, it's pretty splendid.
And there we go, another beautiful autumn. upgrade the markets too with bricks just need 10 more planks and then we can upgrade the actual trade depot yeah uh arrows above the golden arrows above buildings mean they're ready for an upgrade if i upgrade the markets though it'll consume the bricks that we have and i want to do the trade depot first and bricks are expensive like everything else in this game it's, it's gamestop you know like Oh, you have the uh, you have the PlayStation Seven prototype that was owned by uh, Mickey Mouse and signed by uh, everyone in the cast of Star Trek and Star Wars combined. Oh, we'll give you a dollar. Oh, you want a PlayStation Two memory card? Ah, eighty-six million. Yeah, best we can do is eighty-six million dollars for a PlayStation Two eight megabyte uh, memory card. That's how it works here. I like this storage area. Like we got our, our we got our grain and our flour mill here, and then we got all the stuff here for the uh, root cellars. Oh, the foragers are gonna go crazy. That's a great amount of food up there. Like, this is just so... For an area that we kind of, you know, chose because of its brutal winters and mountains. I don't know, in my opinion, this is just the most... It's the coolest. You got rolling hills, mountains, uh, lakes. Like home. Hoboken, New Jersey. Oh, this city's going so good, too. Yeah, Fury Rand, it's, uh... I mean, th this is just, like, what, our fifth episode? And we're just going strong. Like, this is the strongest... Usually it's a struggle, and I expected that, but it's... It, I don't know. We've just been... Actually, this... This stream is probably the slowest, um... Progress. Why do we make the farms away from the village? Because of fertility. Like that's where that's where the fertile soil is. There's also fertile soil next to the village, but that's not big enough. So yeah. And there's also fertile soil down here, but that's where I want to build my city. It's kind of hard to build have buildings on top of farm fields. A impossible. All right, great. Let's get this. Forger to work here. One to work. They have eggs there too. Perfect. That one there. Can't believe we have herb and medicinal root in the same thing. Right, I'll check back a little later.
All right, now we got the planks for the trade post upgrade. That's good. full happiness right there. Gotta get on clothing though. Oh, well, actually we have wax now. I forget how it works. Do we need a weaver and a... Weaver uses flax to produce linen cloth. Oh, okay. So it make it can make the clothing right from there. All right. All right. Then we'll start making clothing. Get those happiness numbers up. Plus, that's another thing we can sell at the market, and that's more money. Villager has <laughs> unlawfully died. Wait, what the hell? What? That was weird. Steam opened the game again. I had the game open twice? Thanks, Steam, for the... Uh, what the... Hold on. Very strange. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that was only like 10 minutes ago. Oops. Steam like opened the game randomly. Standing by. Don't give me any trouble. Okay, good. All right, cool. Now, where were we? 
Okay, so we just gotta wait until we have enough planks to upgrade again. All right, so basically, not anything lost. Just gotta wait for the forgers to build again. Then we'll set up their work areas and upgrade the depot. Cool. Yeah, you can make curved roads in the game, yep. We have a curved road going up to our farms. Till the forgers are done. Now we're upgrading the trade depot. Good. Here we got six months of food. It'll be nice once we start getting cheese and things like that ready to go. have to stand by for a little bit at that trade deep and a few other things to get done. Construction will probably get done in the winter once we can unassign everybody from uh, farming. Yo, Der in Ella Tour, thank you very much for the 24 months. That the blue eye, two years of support. Thank you very much. And just an old guy, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Now 
Thank you very much, New everybody, member. for your support. Welcome. Green eyes in the chat. Show them some love. Let's go. Thank you, guys. New member, welcome. And this place has just got to get done. I mean, it will get done, but I I'm excited. Hurry up. Because now we can finally get our trades in. Top tier trades, man. Yeah. Turkey or ham, what is a better leftover? Um, no, probably for me, turkey, because that also e usually equals like all the other stuff, like um, you know, mashed potatoes, gravy. But ham goes good with like just a little bit of uh, mustard and a King's Hawaiian bun. Farmers are done. Split pea and ham soup. Oh, yeah, splits. <laughs> Split pea soups. Very good. It almost reminds me of like a creamy green curry, but it, the texture is similar, but. What about the weaver? Well, I need a lot more uh, planks for that and a lot more uh, logs. So I'm just going to let them gather all the materials through the winter rather than... Like, let's build the foragers, cut down a bunch of trees and stuff for the next year, and then we'll build the next stuff. Otherwise, I'm building too much at once. Hey, and we have our first tier three house. The large house with room for two more people. Is trying to eat, drink our beer. Beer drinking bear. Trying to rob us blind. What's up, Toby? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We 
need a lot more uh, wood cut down too. For our log, and, I mean our uh, firewood. Thing is it a cocaine bear? That's right. Mm -hmm. And Brent with the gift bomb for the chatty chatters as well. Thank you very much. Gift bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. Villagers need clothing. Nudist colony. We'll plop that down in the spring. plop down that weaver. Yeah, we still need another 60 planks for that? Damn. Eh, about 20 more.
think I need a whole cheese wheel if we got a million subs this year, next year. All right. I mean, that's all on chat. Everybody's welcome to subscribe for free. You know. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, good. Our budget's now positive, and we're probably going to get some more money from the uh, clothing when that's done. And the trade depot is complete. Tier 2 trade is ready to go. Now we gotta get the farmers back on farming. Yeah, that's a good question. What kind of cheddar are we going to make when we when we get our cows? What kind of cheese are we going to make? I guess it would be Raptorian cheese. Ah. Finally. Should have done this long ago. Hmm. Our good friend Lethros. Unfortunately, no, um, no ingots, and he's selling. Buying pottery for a garbage price. Yeah, I guess when we get cows, we'll do it up here. But I I'm going to get cows. Probably we get a little closer to 200. Got to make sure we got a few more. A few more people. Plus, we might also gobble up a bunch of the grain. I hope it's enough. upgrade the hospital to I think that's another what 50 bricks yep no at 500 gold all right we'll have to wait on that it's pretty spendy for now now our population's kind of going up again we just got nine um, like a group of nine immigrants we're probably gonna get attacked though I mean it's been been a long time. We're well overdue for an attack. It's got to come this year. We haven't been attacked all stream. It's going to be now. Got to be. Confirmed.
Yeah, stone roads are going to require a bit more stone. Beldar. Selling bricks for cheap. I don't know about now. Yeah, let's do the market upgrade. That's a good idea. How many is that? 25? 50 for the market too? What the hell? Or fi 500. We need uh, 50 bricks for the market, but 500 gold for the market, too. That's a little spendy. I'm going to have to spend a lot of that money on the actual acquisition of bricks and then the upgrade of the market. We'll just have to wait a little longer. Maybe one more trader will come in. And we got the clothing store going up. Mining. Uh, we need some more people for that. Things are going good, though. Pretty comfortable with how things are going so far. Those two overlapping areas. Hmm. We'll monitor. Yeah, we're going to have to have a barn ready before cows.
Man, no, no attack yet. Coming. Gonna be a big one. Midsummer year uh, 24. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no other houses upgraded. We gotta get iron. I gotta get iron ingots to upgrade that. Uh, my evil plan, chat. To upgrade that statue out in front of the theater. And boom. Big upgrades to the city. Big. Chop, chop. All right, looks like the tailor's almost ready, too. Des did a great job on the soundtrack. I agree. Never ending, never repeating, but kind of lulls you. Oh, yeah. Into a false sense of security. That's its plan. Oh, yeah. That's what it tried to do. The yeah, only thing really missing right now is just close. Yeah, we could move the Trade Depot somewhere else. It'd be kind of cool if the Trade Depot actually created desirability, because it is kind of a pretty building. And it's kind of a market, too, so you'd think people would want to live near it, but, you know. Whatever. Wow, so we have 151 people fit to work. That's a lot of people. We were like uh, 30 one time. It's like, oh man, this town's never going to get built. Now we're at 151? That's a big difference.
All right, now construction begins on the weaver shop after all that time. We'll probably put a few people to work in there. Gentleman needs the following clothing items. 98 linen and 6 shoes. Really? This is all good. What's up, the great? Good to see you. Yeah, we need those builders to finish that uh, building, and they just did. What are we doing on flax? We got nothing. the best we can do for a little bit. We got a lot of clay. How much is it that deposit? I think we can scale back a little bit. Pretty lake. How did we get the rest of the forges working? And lots of stuff up there. That's halfway to tier four. Very exciting.
cholera. Great. We might. No, we don't have any flaxes towards do it now. Beans and peas. Put in some more food here. I guess we could just do a double kabaj. Assign farmers. We'll let those folks work. So now we're getting ready to do like home goods and stuff, which will hopefully make us even more money. We're gonna get that stable income, but more importantly, we gotta get it like uh, much higher than where we are now. Saving. Good. Well, this is good. Tons of food, six months. Ooh, plus everything's looking green across the board. The only thing lacking is clothing, and we gotta wait for the flax on that one. You watched a video on how they make uh, flax into linen? Getting close to that 200 population, that's halfway. And then when spring has sprung, we gotta do uh, trades with anybody who will give us <laughs> iron ingots. We need iron ingots. I 
those are not been any attacks. Uh, we're so close to getting the money we need, too. Or at least getting the money into the positive. But that'll probably take upgrading the markets and then getting a lot more of the tier 3 houses under them. If we upgrade all of our current houses to tier 3, that's going to be pretty good. We'll, we'll be sitting on like a plus 1,000. A million. And this happened. Yeah, all of it. This has happened. There's iron ore close to the other lake too. Good. That's good. Okay, 191. Firewood supplies are at 792. Rookie numbers. There, we'll get those numbers up. Yo, Ferno. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, Chad, thanks for a great year. Another one. Not over yet, but... Thank you very much for an awesome year of support. Yep, good, good. Twenty-five years in. All right, let's get people back on farming. And are we going uh, gonna grow flax this year? Not looking like it. There, we got some kabaj going. Predators?
Something known as a bear is attacking. That's so unusual. Well, whatever happens, happens. Make many candles. How are we doing on honeycombs? Got quite a few. Yeah, we probably just got a lot more people buying, which is fine. Johnny with the 20 gifted memberships for the Chatty Chatters. Wow. Thanks for giving so many. And speaking of Big Money Masook, not only did Johnny just show up, but Big Money Masook himself. Here comes the money. Here we Woo! go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Johnny, you just, you just summoned the man. Big money. Go. Well, he's not selling anything crazy, but it's always good to see him. He's selling some grain, armor, sand, candles. He's selling candles for cheap. We could, could buy low, sell high on the candles. But uh, we'll see who else shows up. Big money, Masook. Yeah, we may have to get Big Money Masook as an emote. As for off okay. We always often mention both Fritz from Manor Lords and Big Money Masook from Farthest Frontier. I think we might need to get them as emotes. We gotta unlock some more slots though, but I think I think we can do it. Although, I think we need about 1,500 new members to unlock two new slots. It's a long way to go, but at least we're 22 in. So thank you, Johnny, for the big O, big, big, big O, big. Thanks, bro. Yeah, we can't make clothing until flax is done. So we can't make clothes till next year, but happiness is going to go up even further. Yeah, Terry, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Yet there has not been a single Raid Shadow Legend this whole run. You know what I think? I think the, the Raiders set up a camp somewhere outside of town, and then they just got killed by uh, bears. What, are we going to build a shrine? Uh... I need to get our population up a little bit more. Because I'm going to need some crew to dig. Mm -hmm. And if we could get just like 11 immigrants to pull up right now, that'd be great. Don't say that. I know. I know, but we're so close, Jan. We're so close. Unfortunately, Big Money wasn't selling iron. Ingots.
Come on. Finally, she's selling iron, but at a high price. All right, how much do we need? It was 20. 65. Oh, but she is buying powdery. Nice, so we wiped her out with pottery. Sixty six is good enough. Now we're really making some money. All right, let's get all this decoration done. Make this town look good, damn it. And Chad, I think it's time we upgrade these roads to stone. Trader. Yeah, faster movement will come up yet. Yeah. That's good, especially around the, the uh, trade depot. Eh, she's kind of broke now. And big money is just showing up to be like, hey man, I'm just passing through. Like, all right, big money, we'll see you next year. Now we are growing flax later this year. Statue also requires like eighteen hundred dollars. Once we build that, they'll probably try to attack it too. Kind of a big money target. Villager has unlawfully died. They're going to jail. Arrest that corpse. Yeah, yeah, you have the right to remain silent, corpse.
I'm gonna send two of these up here. Four. Yeah, the faster movement will be good now that we got so much stone from a few years of mining so hardcore. Ah, there's our raid, finally. 46. Alright. Finally time to get raided. bringing in the is that a double battering ram I think they're bringing in a double battering ram I see two big old health bars They got mad about the statue. Is this about the statue? Top storage depot. Uh, to upgrade the crossbows, we need iron. I'll need a better supply of that. standing close together and they all got typhoid. Uh-oh. Well, luckily the hospital's got some room. That's interesting. Oh, 
Oh boy. Wow, we have a gargantuan, probably one of our biggest outbreaks of uh, typhoid ever. Or of any disease, since we had all of our villagers taking out that damn uh, battering ram. People are being healed pretty quick, though. Our archers did a good job, yeah. time. I do want to make more uh, clothing, though. Gotta wait for the flax to be ready. Is this all because of the medicinal root that they're getting healed so quickly? We went from like 46 to 20. Okay. All right, let's get that statue done. Wait, we're missing one ingot. Don't tell me a damn raider came and stole one damn ingot. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so, forty six of those damn raiders attacked. As they were attacking, we sent our villagers out. Somebody had typhoid. See what happened? Ah, damn it. Items pillaged two iron, and then a bunch of arrows and bows. Damn it, my statue! They couldn't have stolen two because I only bought exactly as many to build the damn statue. So maybe they stole it, then one of them got killed, but then it shouldn't count. I don't. They don't want me having that Chad statue. They don't want it happening. from 46 to 9. Nobody's at the uh, hospital, though. Like, one guy. What are you doing, pal? towers. We'll have to upgrade the towers to tier 2 as well. Costs a lot of iron. 
I also need to have a barracks built. They keep attacking from over here. I think we'll build a barracks and then upgrade our towers and then try to start making crossbows. I'm going to build that statue. Money's good. Also, I didn't look to see how many people died during that raid. Well, it wasn't that bad. <coughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad, whatever it was. We were at like 180, 190. I guess we just gave all the bandits typhoid and then they ran away. Couple people dying, but uh We should be aight. Yeah, this certainly uh, is a lot like Banished, yes. True. We're getting there. Where's our Starbucks shop? On every corner. Every house is actually eventually going to be converted to one. F hype. Map. 
Yeah, I was, I was trying to see where the edge might be. It, it goes much further than that edge there. Yeah, shoes for Wendy's, yep. And now we're gonna have to buy even more. Damn those raiders. Oh well, that'll make this statue an even bigger triumph. Because then it'll bring all this desirability. Upgrade a bunch of homes. And the good thing is, with the homes upgraded, people will uh, there'll be more people living in the areas under the markets that already exist. So we're like right now we're about plus thirty nine, but we'll have more. Finally making clothing. now too but I think our forager should be able to keep that number up throughout the year I hope I want trees Yeah, we got hunters protecting the foragers, I think. It'll be a problem no matter what, though. And now we gotta start thinking about a barracks. Put it there. 
no rush or anything like that, but then we'll get on metal production and upgrade the towers. I think that's going to be more important. Crossbows, upgraded towers, and that one talisman that we can get will triple the power of our towers. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Trees going down, that's good. Now we gotta buy w one more ingot. do some more trades oh and here comes our tra oh that's big money masuk that's big money for sure Yeah, you gotta have people in the right places in this game. Right time, right amount of people. All about a balance, really. Somehow. And the roads are getting done, too. We're upgrading the roads to stone bricks, so that's speeding things up. And out of stone now, so. Selling those cheap. Man, 
man, he's loaded. I got nothing. I really can sell him. Use some more bricks, though. Maybe. Yeah, we want like iron. Iron Clan coming over would be nice. Yeah, the harm, the uh, cool farming, very in depth in this game. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's trader number one. Longest time till we get raided again. Yeah, another thing you can do with the uh, farm fields is before you build them, you can have the cows in an area like a pasture, and they'll fertilize that. Then you can change where their, you know, uh, past their pasture is, and boom, place those fields right where they were. Start with high fertility, and then just keep it up with uh, compost. Big brain. Yo, kick a rock. Hello, welcome. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Thank you, chat, for all the uh, the likes today. Thank you for all the likes on the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for becoming members. Oh, yeah. That was a notice from Steam about the autumn sales. Yes, chat. Don't forget the Steam autumn sales on now. This game's 10% off. And already a low price because it's early access. I think Beldar is coming through. Or that's Anders Plains Rider. Beldar.
All right, standing by. Yeah, that guy like walked all the way across the mountain. It would be kind of nice if in the future you could like make a area for them to spawn in, but once you make a whole wall around the city and it's easier to make like a main crossroads. Pretty good. We need more stone. Seven villagers graduating. Fantastic. Unless another trader comes in, which I don't know. Gonna have to wait on that statue. It's not a big deal though. Like the statue would be put down and then it's gonna come down more to like the clothing issue. Gonna put a whole group of people in there. I think we're gonna just need to work a whole year with the clothing store open then we're good that's the only thing food and clothes that we want temple soon. We'll get there. Am I going to play a new series of Gord? We've already played that game a little bit. If there's a new update or something, we will. Or DLC. Gord seemed cool, though. Time, really. Anybody else want to trade? Oh, he's out of money. Looks like we're not getting enough herbs. Thirty-four. 
And to be fair, they're also gathering like willow and berries and other stuff. We'll have to build another foraging complex though. Whoa, 12 people just showed up? We're halfway to 400. stone well good those people can be laborers and cut down trees and keep mining stone and then build those roads need somebody to build those those roads roads exactly roads where we're going we don't need roads We're doing on flour. 60 flour, 28 bread, okay. So many different food types now. Yet some still only have three. This tier is hard though. Takes a long time to get through this. Plus, we gotta start the mining, but first we gotta just make sure we got enough work at the farm so we can actually get you know, people moving in. mining Oh, another trader is coming in. No way. In early autumn? Somebody must have taken a wrong turn. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Although I think it's just uh, Anders. I need somebody with iron, though. Oh, what if it was... Uh, what's her name? Of, of the Iron Clan? Or Lethros? Oh, man. The bearded dog. Hello? Yeah, the stone roads do, do make quite a difference, yeah. Ooh. Hey, good. You can finish the statue after all. Huzzah.
Good. All right, now we can finish the statue, and that's good. Yeah, we survived that huge typhoid outbreak and stuff, too. Yeah, quite, quite a lot of <laughs> excitement going on here. some beer but we need to finish our statue here we go watch how this has an effect on the city boom oh yeah now some houses just need more food types few of these houses are going to upgrade. That means higher paying in taxes. Hmm. Yep, now we just need food variety. Let's see if our traders can bring over 128 beer and actually give us some good money. We're actually getting enough money now to where we could buy a shrine thing, but there's also two we could dig up, so maybe we should start digging first before we start spending. Because we will need money for the temple. That's a thing. Oh, we only have like one trade. Uh, we have uh, storage around the market already. Everything just gets to right there. Eventually, we, uh, eventually we will reorganize pretty much everything. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. Really want to do that. Move things around. Stone is coming in. to get to the edge that's not even the edge either we got a long way to go brother a long way to go but we have population of 200 so that's good 
Oh good, the beer is ready. Transfer that to our village. Six months full of food and lots of happiness. All right, good. Clothing could be a little better. Still waiting on shirts. Ah, uh, they burned through all the uh, flax. Alright, I fixed that, so we're going to be making flax each and every year. Cut off the weavers for now. Make sure nobody's inside. have any bakers. Two hundred and fifty two flour. I took uh, bakers off the job. They're Boy, we might be able to make another bakery, actually. There's a bug that stops farming and planting? Okay, I'll have to watch. So we're going to build yet another bakery. Let's take advantage of the fact that we have like 190 flour. That does mean we should probably make another farm field with a big old amount of uh, wheat, probably. We can alternate one with wheat and one with flax. We can do that. A big O twelve by twelve.
And then we'll probably do some orchards up here. Perfect, we'll have two more 10 by 12, uh, 12 by 12s. It'll take a while for them to get those working, but then we can do the bulk crops. So one could be wheat all the time, and then one will be like flax. And then that way we can make clothing. Okay, so things we're working on. One, clothes, so that way we can get even more money from the market, more things to sell to our people. Two, upgrades, just completing what's already upgraded because we built the statue. Three, we're working on the, uh, working on getting uh, the, um, oh, what was it? The, Additional bakeries up so that way we can make more food because we are going to be making more farms. I think next time we're going to have to focus on building uh, our military up a little bit. So we got the barracks here almost being built. We're going to have to start focusing on building all these towers, which could require us to finally start making some more mines. That'd be nice. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, no I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, chat? All right. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the chat. Thank you very much for another fantastic day, another fantastic stream of Farthest Frontier. We'll be back in a few days where we'll be back even stronger than ever. The hump that we were stuck under, we're, I think we finally uh, got past that because now we're getting houses to upgrade to Tier 3, which means additional people can move in without us making any changes and uh, much more. So it's all good stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll take care of all those things we talked about in our next stream. More food, more farms, more flour, more bread, more bricks, more stone, more construction. It was a damn good stream, man. We got raided, and it wasn't even that bad of a raid. But our biggest hindrance was uh, getting all that iron in. But finally, we got it. So, now we got tons of cash, too. And we'll buy some more stuff next time. All right, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like button to let me know you'd like to see more Farthest Frontier. Many people forget to do that, so don't forget. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell right now, and don't forget to throw a one in the chat. And uh, become a member today. That big old blue join button is just waiting for you with all sorts of different emotes and more. And it certainly would support the channel. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow bright and early for more big old games on the channel. Happy Friday, everybody. That will be tomorrow and into the weekend. Happy Thanksgiving as well, and I'll see you all next time. I'm going to go get more pie like I need it, but I, I got to go. <laughs>